Hi, what you see on your video screen right now is the Apple TV 4K that we've already connected to our example 4K television. Welcome to our channel all about home electronics. Now in this video, when you're working through how to set up your Apple TV 4K, we've identified six tips that will hopefully make the process go more smoothly and we'll begin right after this. Now, in order to show you these six tips, we had to connect and set up our Apple TV 4K already. What we did do in the description beneath our video, we timestamped each of the six tips so that you can reference it at any time. As well, at the end of this video, we'll publish links, one of which is how to physically connect your Apple TV to a smart television in case you haven't done that step yet. So, let's get started with tip number one. Now we've navigated to a particular screen within the Apple TV 4K to demonstrate how to use the Apple TV remote. Sounds simple, but it kind of frustrated us and we thought it might frustrate some other people. We're going to show you. If you look at the Apple TV remote, at the top portion of it is this flat black colored area and there's no indication telling you how to use it. it took us a little while. So look on the video screen where it says the letter N. We gently touch and swipe right, swipe left, swipe down, swipe up. And if you want to make a selection, press in the middle and listen for the click. Now we haven't actually selected anything, but that's how you press it on the remote. Okay, tip number two you're gonna need your TV's remote control for this one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna locate the menu button on the remote and press the menu button and in our example television we're gonna scroll down to system and we select that and now we're looking for CEC this is a feature that allows communications to occur between your connected television and your Apple TV 4K and that's going to become important if you want to use features like Siri. You'll notice in our example television it's disabled and we're simply going to enable that. Now CEC will only function if you connect your Apple TV through the available ARC HDMI port on the back of the television. If you're not familiar with that you can reference the video that we've linked to titled how to connect Apple TV to a smart television. So with CEC enabled, let's move on to our next tip. Okay, so now for tip number three. I'm going to take the remote with the TV again and I'm going to locate a button on here just for example purposes to illustrate the tip. Uh, the button is called Info and I press it. Now look at the top of the screen of the television and you'll notice the resolution that is being projected by the television from the Apple TV 4K is only 1080p. Now the Apple TV 4K is 4K, so we want to see 4K. We've got to change a setting in our TV to enable that. So, again, back to the menu button. And this time we're going down to, in our example television, input settings. And I mentioned that we're connected to HDMI port number one, and we're going to scroll down and select that. Now you'll notice in our example TV that it says full UHD color off. We need to go ahead and turn that on and watch what the TV is going to do. Actually, we're just going to pause the video and come right back when this reset is made. So the TV reset and it's now in full UHD and I'm going to take that remote and press the info button again. And this time you'll see that it's projected in 4K resolution, which is what we want. Tip number four, the power mode of your television. Surprisingly, this is actually a pretty important setting. You may need to adjust this setting so that Siri works properly or your app works properly. So let's take a look. Again, grabbing the remote control that comes with your television, press the menu button. And in this case, let's scroll back down to system. And when we scroll back down to system,
we're looking for what's called power mode. That could be labeled differently in your television, but you can find it. And currently it's set to eco mode, which means that the television is fully shutting off when it's in the off position. We're going to change that to the quick start mode. This way, anytime Siri wants to send a signal to the television via the way of the Apple TV 4K, it can. All right, for the final two tips, number five and number six, they involve naming your television and assigning a room. Now, first off, I'm going to take the TV remote and... You can assign your television's name through your TV itself. But what's going to happen when you go into your Apple Home app, the Apple Home app is going to change the name of your television, assuming you connected through the ARC port and enabled the CEC feature. Stay with me. It's actually pretty straightforward. So what I did was I went into the menu settings of the actual television itself, and I scroll down here to TV name and the television ultimately was named through the Apple Home app because we're connected through ARC and CEC and it named it television. Now you might have a different name here prior to this and that name is going to get changed. I want you to understand the origin of how it got changed. So let's now take a look at the Apple Home app. Here's the Apple Home app. What I want to do, I notice that I have two accessories listed down here. I'm going to press the edit button and they shake and I'm going to select the television that we're talking about here in our example. Now in this field right here, I tap on it and it permits you the option to name the television. I could change it to anything I want. And again, if you're connected through the ARC HDMI and CEC is enabled, it's going to change the name of the TV. And this will help Siri and the app and the television and Apple TV all work in a more seamless, fluid manner. Okay, so tip number six, assigning a room name. Now, for example purposes, we typed in a custom room name and we called it No Room Assigned Yet. But we did that only for this how-to video. So we want to assign this particular television to an actual room that maybe you would use. So you simply tap that. And in this case, what we'll do is we'll select living room. Now we select done. We'll X out. And then at the top of the app, we select done again. And it says living room television. Now, when you speak to Siri, or if you use the app, you can say something to the effect, Siri, turn on the living room TV, and everything will happen in a fluid and seamless way. So we appreciate you watching this video. We hope that these six tips helped you. This does conclude this video on how to optimize your installation of your Apple TV. Siri, turn off living room TV. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you liked this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.